Hey all, Johnny Mullet here with another video. Um, this is actually a re-upload. Um, the last video I had on this um, particular sub subject, um, I actually showed a little bit of information on my driver's license and a few things I didn't want to, you know, actually show off. So we're going to go ahead and instead of editing the last video and trying to fix it up, I'm just going to re-upload it and we're going to do it right. So here we go. This is my everyday carry. This is what I carry every day in pretty much every situation. Um, EDC is a, you know, a short term for everyday carry. Um, some people call these tactical bags and EDC bag or bug out bag. Basically, it's a fanny pack. And that's exactly what it is. So first off, um, part of my everyday carry includes a single action army revolver. I carry this every single day. It's 22, um, 22 long rifle. Um, I carry a 22 because of my arthritis in my hands. I'm very good with it. It's very accurate, and that's why I carry it every day. And I know every time I cock the hammer and pull the trigger, it's going to go bang. That's why I choose a single action revolver. I also carry on my belt this really neat ammo pouch. This is available on Amazon. This holds 20 round of 22 long rifle. I carry 10 hollow points, five standard velocity, and also five shot shells. Pretty cool. Um, this is a nice little pouch. I actually like it a lot. I haven't had any problems with it. I thought after wearing it, you know, after, you know, a few weeks or a month that the straps would come apart or it would, the stitching would go bad, but it's been holding up quite well. Very nice product. So, we also have my everyday Casio timepiece. You may be thinking, hey, that's not the same watch you had on the other video. No, it's not. I have a problem. Anywho, we will put these two items aside and get to the main contender of the show, which is the fanny pack. So, here we go. This is what I carry every single day. I don't wear it around my waist like the old guy at the amusement park and stuff like that. What I basically do is I grab the bag, I take it with me, I toss it in my car, I toss it in my toolbox, I toss it back in my car. If um, me and the wife, we do a lot of traveling, if we go somewhere where we're going to go hiking, I will put the fanny pack on and wear it around my waist. It's just very convenient to have it. You have essential items inside, and your hands are free. So it's really nice to have a fanny pack. These were really, really popular in the 80s, and I don't know why they didn't, you know, maintain a strong popularity. Um, a lot of them got a bad rap. Uh, European carry-all fanny pack, ha, 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 whatever. I think they are neat. I think they're awesome little storage items to keep your everyday essentials. So, it's time to go through the bag and see what we got. Are you guys ready for the grand tour? Here we go. Um, first off, we have three compartments. We have a large one here in the center, a, um, a compartment in the back, and a pouch compartment in the front. So we will start with the front compartment, and we will start with the first item. Uh, first off, you might notice some scratches I got there and some other injuries. I'm a mechanic, I go through a lot of uh, hand injuries so um, this was from a stainless steel braided line off of a diesel engine it decided to tear me a new one and it won the battle but not the war so our first item is this really cool tactical flashlight I really like this light I got it for free for Christmas from one of our parts vendors and I don't know where actually you can buy it but I think it's really neat it's made by true it takes one AA battery and it's very bright and it'll last many, many, many hours on that one AA battery. So pretty slick flashlight. I like it. Um, another item we have in the bag would be a cigarette lighter. I do carry a cigarette lighter in my pocket because I am a smoker, but I carry a spare with me. Um, both my everyday carry lighter and this one have the same Marlboro Miles case. They're, they're pretty old, but they're really cool. Uh, the one I carry in my pocket every day is pretty worn out, but this one is pretty pristine. So, cigarette lighter. 
and we're going to move on. Uh, the next item in this bag is a Swiss Army Knife. Swiss Army Knives are awesome. I mean, just this item alone in your pocket, so many multiple to tools. You got screwdrivers, you got can and bottle openers, you got your saw blade, you got a regular knife blade. And, you know, really, really cool. It's also got this nice little pair of scissors. You may never know when you need a pair of scissors. Uh, we got a toothpick on the back, and we also got a pretty cool pair of little tweezers. I mean, this little Swiss Army knife is one of the most used items in this bag because it is so convenient and so nice to have. Swiss Army knife. Um, I choose the Swiss Army knife over a multi-tool or a Leatherman tool. Um, I know it's lacking pliers, but I have that covered as we go on through the bag. So we'll go on down here in the bag a little bit deeper and see what else we can find. I'm pretty sure you will be amazed. This is a sewing kit. I have black thread and blue thread with sewing needles down the middle wrapped in tape. Sewing kit. How many of you out there can actually say that you can sew? I can sew a button on, I can sew a tear or a rip. Basic sewing, very, very convenient to have, very nice. And we'll keep on going here. I have a spare battery for my tactical light. And we'll keep going. We got the fingernail clippers and file. Very nice to have. Even when you have mechanic hands but like mine, we do our best to try to at least keep them trimmed up for the most part. So, gotta have the old... And these are also nice little cutters for small other items too. But yeah, nail clipper and file. Very, very cool. And we'll keep on going. Chapstick. How many times you gone on vacation and your lips get chapped and you're like, oh man, I got to go to the store and get some chapstick. Nope, not if you got it in your tactical bag. Chapstick. And we also have a roll of electrical tape. Some people carry duct tape and other types of tape. I like electrical tape. It's really, really good stuff. Um, so many uses for electrical tape, whether it be for applying medical gauze or fixing or repairing or securing something electrical tape goes a long long way okay we will keep going and here we have a pair of slip joint pliers these are really nice these are the pliers that i prefer over a leatherman tool because these have really good gripping force and i can really really squeeze down on them and not worry about breaking them like i would a leatherman tool so it's nice to have a pair of small slip joint pliers, adjustable sizes, really, really cool item. And I also use this item quite often. Nice to have in my fanny pack. Keep on going. And we're going to get farther down in here. And here we go. Oh, a paper clip. Paper clips come in handy for so many items. Not only just clipping paper but you ever needed a needle or something small and pointy to open a cd drive or something of the sort there you go you have it in a paper clip very cool paper clip let's keep on going i know there's more in this section here and there we go let's see something tucked down here in the corner what is that that is a eight gigabyte usb drive you might be thinking why are you carrying a usb drive in your fanny pack well, the reason is, is I carry a bootable Linux operating system on this drive. So any computer that has power, I can boot up a Linux operating system and access the World Wide Web. Uh, a lot of people with older computers with Windows 7, there's no longer support. And I have been to people's houses and they say, hey, what do I do about my Windows 7? Well, I can dual boot your system with a Linux operating system. So you can keep your Windows and you have a choice. You can boot with Linux or boot with Windows and you can browse the web safely with a up-to-date operating system. Kind of a nerdy thing to have, but I am a nerd. Okay, let's keep on going. I think we are done with the front pocket. So, all these items fit in this little tiny part little tiny part of this fanny pack so let's move on to this next compartment 
This is the large center compartment. The first item you'll see here is this phone case. Uh, the very phone that we are recording on right now fits in this case. So pretty cool. It actually uh, has a magnetic strip and it clips in there and closes up nicely. This case, ah, uh, edit. See, that's the whole reason I edited the video. Um, got my driver's license here and I can also carry my insurance card and my state inspection license, my medical card, my CDL, all kinds of stuff. It's a really convenient little wallet and it also stores my cell phone. So, pretty slick. Also, in this large compartment, you will find this battery bank. This is a lithium ion battery bank and it is designed to charge up to two devices. You can charge your laptop, you can charge your tablet, you can charge your cell phone, you can charge your rechargeable flashlight or whatever other items you got. Pretty slick, you hold the power button down and she turns on, you hit the power button twice and you got a neat little flashlight. Pretty slick. Uh, it's a really nice item and it even comes with a tiny little USB cable. So you can charge, you know, like I said, anything you want with this device. So you can power the device down or if it does not detect a load, after I think 10 seconds or so, the item will shut down on its own. But you would look at all these items here and think, wow, man, that's a, that's a lot of stuff in that little bag. I mean, this guy's got it going on, right? Uber nerd. Hey, we're not done yet. We have another compartment. So let's move to the back. This back compartment contains more items, more essential things. So the first thing we're going to pull out, let's go for these. What we have here are two large zip ties. You may never know when you need a zip tie, you know, to fix a tarp or to, to you know, uh, so many uses for a zip tie. You guys all use zip ties before. Really cool to have. Um, even comes in handy if you have to restrain somebody. I mean, not that I ever wanted to, but I got them if I need them. So we will keep on going. I also have a couple little bungee straps, little short bungee straps. Very cool to have. You never know when you need a strap for your bicycle or something or something to secure. You got bungee straps. Um, other items you're going to see is band-aids, bandages. Here is a large gauze pad. This also works well with the electrical tape. Ask any mechanic. Um, you're going to find different varieties of band-aids. I have different sizes. I have more gauze pads, more band-aids. Smaller band-aids, medium-sized band-aids, larger band-aids. Um, we also have some hand cleansing wipes, antibacterial wipes, more band-aids, larger band-aids. You can never have enough band-aids. I just make sure I got enough. You may never know. I also carry triple antibiotic ointment to treat wounds. It works good stuff. This is really good stuff. Um, and more band-aids and gauze pads. Can you believe all that fits in there? That's pretty awesome. But we're not done yet. I also have a shoelace. You would think, why the hell would you have a shoelace in there for? Well, a shoelace comes in handy for lots of, lots of good reasons. You've got to tie something down, secure something, or even if you need a tourniquet, the shoelace comes in handy. And I think we are down to the last part of the bag. And this last item is an emergency rain poncho. Pretty cool item to have if you want to stay warm and dry on a rainy day. You didn't bring your umbrella because it didn't fit in your everyday bag. You have an emergency poncho. Poncho. You can also make an emergency tent out of a poncho. There are videos on YouTube. So I think we've pretty much gone through... Every item that I carry in my everyday carry, it's a pretty slick little setup. Um, all this stuff fits in that little bag and everything, and I even have room for more items. So that is really cool. So I hope you enjoyed this video, 
Until next time, this is Johnny Mullet. You all have a great day.